Hey everyone, sorry for not uploading in a while. I've been spending all of my time and energy on this really long video that's not coming out anytime soon. But then I came to the conclusion while working on that video that if I don't get anything out soon, I wouldn't afford rent. So I'm just going to talk about a topic that interests me. That topic, of course, being Death Battle because you read the title. We all know what Death Battle is, right? It's a versus crossover series where two hosts analyze fictional characters and examine feats from their series to determine who was stronger and who would win a death battle. Now I've watched this series on and off for my whole life, but only recently did I become a diehard fan, around season 9, which is probably the best season of the show, with episodes like Aquaman vs Spongebob even moving me emotionally. Don't cry, Sponge. Let's be super friends. Which is really stupid to say about a series that is basically mashing two series together until one dies. I'm even such a big fan, I even started drawing art for potential matchups I'd like to see in the future. Becoming somewhat well known to people. I'm not famous or anything, people just see my art and they're like, oh, I know that person, she drew it. I even met the worst person ever there. But that's a story I will probably never disclose to strangers on the internet. Sorry. I'm not just saying that to flex. I'm trying to establish that I've been in the community long enough to know a thing or two. Now, a sort of controversy, although using that term seems loaded if not inaccurate, but nonetheless, the show has been known to get certain outcomes that some people disagree with. See, in a sense, Power scaling is very easy to do if you're invested in certain series, and it's easy with people to come up with results for a conflict. For example, let's take a matchup I like. Say Guts from Berserk versus Scar from Full Metal Alchemist. Both have been shown to survive attacks second level buildings, so for simplicity's sake, let's just put them both at building level. The fight would seem pretty even, so then you go into a character's specific hacks. Like, say how Guts has a cannon arm and has elf dust that could heal his wounds. Or how Scar can disintegrate metal with his alkahestry. And disintegrate human minds as well. Like, I don't mean that in the psychic sense, I mean he literally explodes people's brains. Get away! So, who wins? Well, based on what we scaled them at and Scar's specific hacks, I believe that if a fight between them were to happen, it would be pretty close, but Scar would come on top. Now, as you've probably noticed, this process is so easy that errors and disagreements are common. For example, let's say that Scar's hacks doesn't matter because Guts can cut through him like butter with his 8 foot tall sword. Or that Scar's alchemic abilities could stop Guts before he even swung his sword. And if you're lost by now, what I'm getting at is that versus debating and matchup making in general is highly opinionated, and who wins a certain fight is mostly up to interpretation of the media in question, and all of this is subjective. So with that in mind, why do so many people get upset when Death Battle gets things wrong? So, to answer that question, let's look over the most famous and infamous example of this. Goku vs Superman. Now, aside from being a blast from the past, this episode back in the day caused a bunch of controversy because Goku, the main character of Dragon Ball, lost. Many a debunking video were made, but here's the thing, as we've discussed, these things are largely subjective. Whether or not Goku or Superman wins is largely up to interpretation of the source material. Both characters have gone through so many feats and so many different iterations over the years 
that you could easily make an argument for either one winning. But hey, right, doesn't that disprove my point? Because the scaling consensus is that Superman wins, so getting mad at this is stupid, right? Because everyone agrees on the winner. Well, yes and no. Let's look at a more modern example. Darth Vader vs. Obito Uchiha. A very anticipated episode. Vader would finally return after 8 years, and even better, the fan consensus is that he wins. So when the episode aired, and he lost, some people accepted it, others were disappointed, and a very small, vocal minority were outraged. And here's the thing, I'm not going to tell you that getting upset at watching your favorite character die is wrong. What I'm saying is that, well, all of this is subjective. The point of a fight isn't who wins, it's having two characters who are similar fighting to the death. That's what I love about death battles. Think about your favorite fight from an anime or a show or just a movie. Now, what was your favorite part about that fight? Chances are it came from the characters interacting. So what now, Jack Sparrow? Are we to be two immortals locked in an epic battle until Judgment Day and Trumpet Sound? Or you could surrender. Reacting to each other. Uh -huh. You can see me. I can see everything. <laughs> Did you see that? Or just the movement and tone of the fight. And while the killing blow could be your favorite part of the fight, ultimately I find that people care more about the fight itself and less about who wins. Because a fight is less about the outcome and more about the specific story it tells. My favorite episodes of Death Battle are the ones that have cool moments and fun character interactions, as well as choreography. The most recent episode at the time of writing and recording is Raven vs. Phoenix. It came out today on YouTube, for example. A fight that many people have said that the outcome, that the product of the fight, is wrong. But does that really matter? The fight tells the story of Raven accepting that she isn't the daughter of a demon, but a daughter of Azeroth. And while that's not my favorite episode, I thought it was quite okay, honestly. It's an episode that was more than its outcome. What mattered in the fight isn't that Raven won, but that Raven is happy with who she is. And even then, with Vader vs. Obito, the story there isn't about Darth Vader losing in a death battle again. It's about Anakin being caught up with his trauma, being caught in Obito's ultimate hacks, his ultimate dream. It was a test of conviction, and Obito's was stronger. All of this, in almost a thousand words, to say that it doesn't matter who wins. It doesn't matter that Death Battle got it wrong, and those who seek episodes only for these outcomes, in my mind, are misguided, because the story is more than its ending. It's the parts in between that matter, the interactions, the chemistry, the dialogue, everything else. And in the end, I hope I've shown that. My favorite Death Battle episode is Dio vs. Alucard. An episode that many agree was wrong in its outcome, but most people don't seem to care. It's an episode about time stops, sword fighting with clock hands, drowning your enemy in, in a blood river, and honestly just being really fucking cool. And even though it, there isn't really a story or deeper themes there, that's not what it's going for. It just wants to be a cool fight. And that's all it needed to be. So when I see Vader vs. Obito, I don't care that Vader lost. I care that it was fun and inventive, and I got to see Darth Vader again. Hopefully this video made its point clear that Death Battle is something that I hold cl close to my heart, but not as close as more important things. My name is Sophia, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.